Hey everybody, it's tally time. September 2019 broadcast was put up and I went over it yesterday and uh, I have the tally for you today and some a little bit of news that maybe a couple of you didn't know. I'm sure the news is out there, people know about it, but I uh, for the few of you that don't go anywhere else, but you too, <laughs> well, I'll let you know about the, the cool news. Um, David Splain was the speaker for this month. It was 53 minutes and 44 seconds of, we do such a hard work translating all this propaganda from one language to another and this is how we do it and they talked about languages the difference between languages and meanings and of words in different languages and a bunch of boring stuff oh my god no spiritual food whatsoever in a broadcast well they did quote a couple scriptures they did read a couple scriptures but basically no spiritual food I mean, I don't understand why they do a broadcast, but there's nothing in it except, oh, look what we've done. You know, look at us. Oh, we're so good. Oh, can't stand that. Um, they said something in the broadcast that caught my eye. It, it made my heart leap. I was like, oh, my God, are you kidding? They were talking about... Um, following God, you know, but what they said was their walk with the organization, not your walk with God or your walk with Jesus, but your walk with the organization. I'm like, what? Are you kidding me? It seems like the organization itself is becoming more important than a lot of other things. You know, when you replace Jesus with the governing body and now you're following an organization instead of God or Jesus dangerous dangerous people yep I couldn't believe they said that I was like oh my god I can't believe they just said that your walk with the organization that does not sound spiritual at all <laughs> well anyway um there was 35 Jehovah's. Um, these numbers are really low. I mean, that was really low for for a broadcast. Jesus 5, Satan 0. Oh my God. Couldn't believe they didn't mention Satan at all. But Jesus got 5 anyway. Organization 3, the governing body got 2. Holy Spirit wants the truth got seven brotherhood once faith got four trust got one but um i thought it was unusual they didn't mention the faithful discreet slave but they did mention the governing body twice organization three and like i said their walk with the organization Oh, that's just gross. And the news that I was going to tell you, um, they announced the the title for the 2020 regional conventions, which will be um, Always Rejoice, which was based on Philippians 4.4. 4. And I'm going to read it to you out of their Bible, because that's what they they base their title on always rejoice in the Lord again I will say rejoice see no spiritual meat didn't say anything so um, I don't know what the convention is gonna be about you know rejoice rejoice um, they're gonna continue hiding the fact that they're being sued from every angle up and down and forward and back and they're going to keep hiding from the the members um 
the reasons that they're selling all the halls and the reason that they're asking them to give more money, give more money, 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 and rejoice while we're doing that to you. You know, I could think of a few, few things to say about that is, um, um, beat me some more. I like it. Thank you. You know, I mean, come on. They are actually beating the sheep, molesting the sheep, killing the sheep. And those sheep just keep on kissing up to them. I'm so mad with the organization right now. I really am. All the, th all the things that they're doing and they still refuse to let the, the members know what they're doing behind their backs. I have gotten no return letter from Watchtower. That means I'm going to have to write another one. And I will too. I will. I'm going to write another doozy here pretty soon. Sooner or later, they're going to have to answer one of them. You know, I try to make them real friendly. I don't want to sound like it's an apostate writing a letter. You know, just want a letter from, you know, Joe Public, you know, asking questions. You know, I might have to make the other one seem... I have to go from a different angle, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But, um... I'm going to have to write another one, like I said, because I haven't gotten any answer whatsoever, and it's been a month, you know, come on, you know, that's long enough to return a letter, or some kind of response, um, we got your letter, no, we're not going to answer your question, <laughs> something like that, you know, yeah, they're so rude, so rude. <clears throat> but, um, the hurricane has missed Florida, basically. All of our friends in Florida are nice and safe. Isn't that nice? I'm telling you, I, I think all, all the prayers and well wishes that we send through the universe, um, I think have protected our friends in Florida. Um, I have some friends in, um, South Carolina that it's headed for, uh, I hope they s are still safe. Um, as it heads up the coast, there's more people that we know there, New York, New Jersey, um, all those places. And I, I hope that the storm dissipates before then. I hope everybody's safe. If you, I'm sure a lot of you have seen the, the videos from the Bahamas and how that hurricane has annihilated some of those islands. There is nothing left. I felt so bad for them people, man. They were making videos, sending out videos. Please pray for us. Pray for us. Pray for us. And they had water running in their roof was gone. They had water running in to their apartment where they were at. They couldn't leave because of the flooding. They couldn't go into a different building. They had no choice but to stay where they were. And it was like sitting through a second half of a hurricane with no roof over your head, with children. And I mean, that had to have been absolutely terrifying. I would have been terrified. And I, I pray for everybody there. Some people have died. I don't know how, how many. Actually, last I heard, there was at least five. But I feel so bad for them. It, it looked absolutely scary. The, the power lines were down. The poles were down. The poles weren't just down. The poles were in pieces on the ground. It was, it was terrible. It looked like a bomb went off, not just a tornado went through. I mean, it was just, everything was splintered and gone. Cars flipped over, boats upside down. They had no way. Now I know the, the Coast Guard and National Guard 
um, a lot of um, <clears throat> military um, helping organizations are going out there and they're going to need food, clothes, things for those babies. You know, it's terrible. I, I, I hope they get every bit of help they need. But um, everyone in Florida that I know of is good. Um, Vinny was good. Jerry Jones is good. And I didn't hear that anybody else had any problems. So, um, good job, everybody. Oh, we were all worried for you guys in Florida. Oh, my God. But um, I'll talk to you guys in a few days. Everything here is just normal, normal. <laughs> Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.